In this video, we'll look at whether NO2 is polar or nonpolar. This is nitrogen dioxide. This is a bit of an odd structure. It has this lone electron, this single electron up here on top of the nitrogen. So we have to think about how we're going to deal with these things. First, though, let's just look at the nitrogen and the oxygen. If we have a bond between nitrogen and oxygen, nitrogen is 3.04, oxygen 3.44. So there is a difference in electronegativity. So when we look at the bond, how these electrons are shared between the nitrogen and the oxygen, because the oxygen's more electronegative, these electrons will spend a little more time around the oxygen atom. As a result, it'll be more negative. So we'll have the oxygen atom a little more negative, the nitrogen a little more positive. That'll give us poles. We expect this to be a polar molecule. Let's try to visualize that. So the purple, that'll represent that central nitrogen. We have one oxygen, and then we have a double bond oxygen. So they spread out to be as far away as they can from each other. And then we only have one electron. This simulation doesn't let me add just one electron, so I'll add two. And you can see, similar to just one electron, the two push the oxygens down. So now we have these oxygens down here. They're more electronegative than our nitrogen. We have our poles. NO2 is a polar molecule. Let's go back to our Lewis structure. If we look at actual data, we see that that bond angle down there, that's 134.3, and that's because the lone pair is pushing down. So we do have this bent molecular geometry, and that's what makes it a polar molecule. These oxygens, the difference between oxygen and nitrogen with the electronegativity. Note that we would have resonance, the double bond and the single bond, that would average to give us these bonds here shown in this diagram. Either way, NO2 is a polar molecule due to the difference in electronegativity between the oxygen and the nitrogen and the fact that we have an asymmetrical molecule. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.